Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. This has made the new studio worthwhile. Please sit down, relax, don't worry. The chairs are new. <laughs> there is no gum underneath most of them. <laughs> Nothing has been peed on. <laughs> most things have not been peed on. <laughs> Everything's been peed on. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. It is, though. It is. You know that NASA, Na you know NASA, the, uh, they announced today that the Mars rover transmitted its most spectacular photographs yet. There's three brand new panoramic shots of Prince Harry's ass. <laughs> Worth the taxpayer's money. It's a very bad day for Prince Harry again. Uh, the newspapers in Britain have published his naked pictures and they've received over 4,000 complaints, but also over a million letters of support, all from Elton John. <laughs> uh, do you know that, uh, the other person that everybody's talking about today is Harry's grandmother, the Queen of England, Her Majesty the Queen of England, Elizabeth II. She was photographed driving an SUV and wearing a hoodie. <laughs> So we didn't touch this. This is real. Look at this. Look, look at that. <laughs> and if you look at the photograph, it seems like she's driving the, the inside a, a public lavatory. <laughs> you see that? It's all part of our new hip hop alter ego, uh, 50 pence. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it's a great day for America, but also a scary day, because there's a big gust of dangerous hot air is bearing down on our shores. That's right, it is the first night of Madonna's American tour, tonight. <laughs> I love that British singer, he's my favourite. Hello, Gavna, we're living in a material world. <laughs> She's starting her tour in Philadelphia, which makes sense because both rose to prominence in 1776. And during the world tour... <laughs> wait, wait. That's actually very bad news for Madonna. I made a Madonna joke and then you kind of went, ah. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's the worst thing that could happen. Because if you just went, hey, that would be like, no, but no. Uh, during the world tour, Madonna has been very vocal about this Russian band, um, Pussy Riot. That's what they're called. That's what they're, can we say that? Yeah, uh, uh, all right. It's because of the new set we can say. On the old set, we would have had to say, ooh la la, riot. <laughs> now, if you don't know what the, this band, and this is what they're called, I'm sorry, that's what they're called, they're called Pussy Riot. If you know, uh, you know, get with the times, Grandpa, they're an all-female rock band. Like Coldplay. And the... <laughs> That's right, I'm calling you out, talented twinks. Anyway, the, the, the band, uh, the, this band, they're from Russia, and the three members are locked in a uh, Russian prison. Madonna's really up in arms about it. We got a picture of Madonna when she played Russia. This is what she did. Look. Yeah. You got, you got to make sure you read both arms. Uh, but she is now... She is now so buff, she is renting out her arms as billboards, which actually is an idea she stole from me. <laughs> Do we have a picture from my Russian tour? There you are. <laughs> Gotta make sure you read both arms. Anyway, here's why this band are in trouble. They set up in a Moscow cathedral to play a protest song about Vladimir Putin's ties to the church. <laughs> 
Not as ties. They don't mind as ties. It's as ties to the church. And after 40 seconds, the security guards threw them out. And then Putin's henchmen tracked three of them down and arrested them and sentenced them to prison for two years with a charge of hooliganism. <laughs> Is that even a crime? Hooliganism? <laughs> it's like being charged with tomfoolery. Or <laughs> you're going to prison for shenanigans. <laughs> And this, you know, this story about Pussy Riot has angered a lot of American politicians. Well, one, Clinton. <laughs> I have no idea what this is about. <laughs> but it sounds like something I need to get involved. <laughs> Read both arms. The whole thing is very scary because uh, it seems like Russia is returning to the old ways. If you don't agree with Putin, you get sent to the gulag. Now, women wouldn't have been arrested if they were singing a song about how much they love Putin. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Putin, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Putin. Come on, Jeff. Hey, Putin. Hey, Putin. Oh, Putin, you're, you're so, so fine, fine, you're so fine, fine you blow my mind. Hey, Putin. <laughs> Luckily, this is America. We can sing that ironically. <laughs> Maybe they should have sang a song about the fact that when Putin got elected, he had 140% of the vote. <laughs> and some people are saying that the, the, some Russians are, are claiming that Putin's election was rigged and he has no legitimate claim to power. And these Russians, uh, they are called um, missing. He's really working hard to be seen as a badass. So you get that picture of Putin that one way out. Yeah, look at that guy. You shouldn't go around like that, posing with pictures with your shirt off. Who do you think you are, Prince Harry? Knock it off! <laughs> and they were, when they were sentenced in, in Moscow, there was a huge protest. And one of the protesters was uh, Garry Kasparov, the chess champion, who got roughed up by the police. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke, it's just true. <laughs> news that you're getting news here <laughs> Russian news anyway you don't want to mess with a chess championship a chess champion a chess, you know a chess but what do you call them chessmen chess chesters what do, you call them? <laughs> what do you call a guy who plays chess all the time uh, chessy chessy yeah you don't you don't want to mess with a chessy you'll wind up with with a rook where the sun don't shine that's what'll happen they actually arrested Kasparov I don't know why they arrested him he's he's just a pawn in their game <laughs> <laughs> wait, hey, wait. Did you laugh in sympathy because they ooed? Oh. That's bad about Madonna, isn't it? When they went, oh. Because you know what comes after, oh, bless her. <laughs> you know what, Jeff? I gotta tell you, Secretariat is freaking me out. You're very thing. creepy, man. <laughs> Look at just. You know, we should, we really should have some, some creepy music. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. any creepy music for sex? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> That's really frightening. That is weird, man. That's, That's what, creepy. Do it again, just a little bit. That's enough. That's enough. Do, do it again, but no, with Morgan no. Freeman. Morgan Freeman narration. All right, then. Okay, then. I do it again with a Morgan Freeman narration. Secretariat waited patiently by the barn door, fondling himself, waiting, watching. Stop, stop, stop. You're freaking me out. You're freaking me out. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 